This is the best defense to use in Madden 23. No! It stops the run. Gets instant sacks. Ah! And your opponent won't even be able to complete a pass. So if you want to see what defense I'm using to get results like this, oh my God. stick around after the intro. The is here. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. In today's video, I'll once again be using my Buffalo Bills Offensive Kansas City Defensive eBooks as they are two of my favorites and I'm trying to get some new stuff out for you guys. But before I do, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. And if you want to see more money plays from this or any of my eBooks, all you have to do is click the links in the description or the top pinned comment to have them sent to the email of your choice for instant download. I started this game out on offense and I thought it would be a fun idea to try to make a video about some more exotic trick plays that can be found in the gun normal Y off, like the jet touch pass and the fake jet power which is a really good quarterback run with a lot of blocking if you ever want to run an offense like this with run plays to the quarterback wide receiver or any non-running back really you want to go into your coaching adjustments and make sure that you set your ball carrier to conservative this is because these positions are penalized on run plays in Madden, which usually result in a lot more fumbles and saying this adjustment to conservative will offset that and almost make the chance of fumbling disappear but what you never want to do is set this to aggressive like i accidentally did here Oops. as it will almost guarantee that you fumble on these plays a lot i started the drive with a simple inside zone for six yards before i try to mix it up with the jet sweep before going back to the inside zone two more times to barely pick up the first down i get the first down the next play on the sideline before i try a new cover three one play touchdown that i recently labbed only to realize too late that he was actually in a cover one man Derp. On defense, I'll be using my number one favorite defense, the Dime Normal Cover 2 Man All Game. I've already made several videos about this defense, so if you guys want to see more about it, I will have links in the description and on screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. For my adjustments, I will first substitute the safety at the middle linebacker spot, both for a better user, but also so that I have a better man defender to cover either the running back or the tight end in coverage. I also like to set my coaching adjustments right away. I always set my zone adjustment to match because I do have two zones on the field at all times, and I also like to add some zone flats at times to supplement coverage on certain routes. I'm not sure if it helps, but it definitely doesn't hurt. Other than that, I set my flats to 5 for short routes and my curl flats to 25 for deep routes. I set my cornerback matchups by overall so that Slay will cover digs, and I set my ball in the air defense to play ball. I used to set this to play a receiver to get more knockouts, but I find that since the last patch, this setting seems to result in much less takeaways. If you guys want to learn more about the best coaching adjustments to use right now, as this does make a huge difference, I recently did an updated video on this topic as well. And I'll once again have links in the description and at the end of the video. The setup for this defense is easy. And if you watch my channel regularly, you should know it by now as I've made several videos about this. All you have to do is pinch the D-line, which is D-pad to left and down to close up any inside run lanes. Then shade underneath, which is Y or triangle and down the right stick. This will make sure that all man defenders will prioritize covering the short routes that beat man like zigs, drags, and slants. But it also means they will give up things like streaks and deep routes easier. But that is why I run cover too, as the deep safeties will usually stop those or at least be in the area so that I can click on and make a play. The hardest part that I think people have running this defense is deciding who to use her as you have to pick a defender with the least amount of responsibility and that can change on every single play based on what your opponent is running. You have three options on any given play. The user middle linebacker who is responsible for the running back is a good option, but if the running back goes out on a pattern, you have to follow. So I really only use this guy on third or fourth down and long plays where the running back isn't likely to pick up what is needed. The next option is the one that I use the most, and that is the safety, especially against an offense like this. The only route that I found can consistently beat this setup is a fade route from the widest receiver on the field as this route gets around the press. So in that scenario, you need deep safety help over the top. But against this offense here, there isn't even a wide receiver on the short side of the field with three on one side and only a tight end on the short side and since tight ends aren't really fast enough to beat cornerbacks deep like that i can basically use this safety over him wherever i want with no consequences in coverage to help out in run support i will usually bring the safety down over the middle like an extra linebacker and on the first play he hands it off for just a few yards he runs a hurry up and passes over the middle and i was just a little slow to react or i could have had an interception on the very first play of the game he runs it again and on the next play gets a weird tackle animation or he would have had another stop he passes again on the next play and you can see how all the coverage defenders are basically running the routes so it's only a matter of time before he tries to hit a slant one more time 
Gotti. He could go all the way. Now inside the red zone, I try to run with the quarterback only to fumble on the very first play. What? Which stood out to me since I thought that I set my ball carrier to conservative, so I tell myself to check that when I get the ball back. I won't be getting the ball back anytime soon, though, as he tries to hit that exact same route. Gotcha, bitch! Not only for Bradbury to finish the job this time. That's just too easy! It's also best to use the safety on the side of the field with the least receiver, so in the next series when he comes out under center with one on each side, I switch to the other safety since the other side also has a tight end, leaving two receiving options to cover. Just remember to watch for that fade route as this is the only route that can get past the cornerback. Once I see that the receiver crosses the field, I know that I am free to use it wherever I want as he tries to hit another crosser only to fall incomplete. He spreads me out with an empty backfield look on the next play. Now against a look like this, you can do some extra steps to the setup, like spraying the defensive line and guessing pass for extra pass rush. Normally, against a look like this, I might use it at the defensive end, but on this play, I use it as a safety to cut off the tight end and actually make a huge mistake by forgetting to watch for that fade route. But luckily for me, gotcha, bitch. my coverage corner doesn't get beat this time. Back on offense, I go back to the jet sweep before remembering to check my coaching settings, and I saw that I actually put it to aggressive, which was shocking since I never do that. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, I'm doing nothing on offense Woo! before I try to go for it on fourth down and almost throw an interception myself. Nope. So it's pretty obvious my defense is going to have to win me this game. He tries to work his tight end and he is choosing some good man beating routes. No! But I am all over it, as Josh Allen has completed more passes to me than his own team at this point before finally picking up a first down the next play. He goes back to that same trip sets and crossers can get open against his defense, but locating and taking those crossers away is my job, so he throws it away before picking up the first down on the ground on the next play and then almost scoring on a simple drag to get to the goal line before punching it in to tie the game. Back on offense, I'm still trying to run this wacky ass scheme as I am doing okay with it, but it shouldn't be your main offense as I get a first down on the ground before hitting the running back out of the backfield for the first. The ground attack is nice, but it eventually catches up to me as you just start sending the house. So on third and nine, I switch to a pass play as this China route should get open against any coverage in the game, but the pressure forces me to throw it early. No! And now we have both thrown pick sixes as he takes the lead back with just a minute before half. I've tried to force it deep when I get the ball back just to throw another interception. Yep. And now he has a chance to score again before half. He takes off with Josh Allen to get in the field goal range on the next play before trying to throw it over the middle again and throwing his fourth pick of the half. <laughs> He gets the ball back after half as well and starts the drive with good runs on back-to-back -back plays. We stop him on the next play though to force a big third down before Josh Allen makes the play. Then on first down though he tries to scramble again only this time we get the sack. Get over here! He gets a few yards back on the next play before forcing it outside. Gotcha bitch! And we cut off again with only one man to beat to get our second return touchdown of the game. See ya! Which is huge since my offense hasn't scored yet. Back on defense, he decides it's probably better to run the ball at this point, so he plays it safe and starts running with his quarterback as well, and now it looks like he's afraid to pass. You can't always run the ball though, as Knox has been his best receiver, and now inside the red zone, we are now focusing on stopping the run. Sit your ass down! Josh Allen makes another big play to get inside the 10, but he tries to throw an impossible throw across his body on the next play. <laughs> I decide to switch offenses now as I just want to win the game at this point, so I hit a few dink and dunk passes to both kill clock and get some first downs before hitting a big slant route to get in the field goal territory with only two minutes left. He keeps coming out in man zero, so there's a good opportunity to use a brand new one play touchdown out of the double slant that I just labbed from this offense. All you have to do is run this from a hash mark to the open side of the field, motion across the B route, and this route will burn the man coverage outside. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> He needs a big drive now, but he's not going to get it as we get another interception. We try to run the ball, but we aren't getting anywhere as he is still setting the house with his man blitz. So we go right back to the double slant one play touchdown one more time and score again the exact same way. Break yourself, fool! He still has a chance though as he goes right down the field and by chance I mean a chance to set the record for interceptions. <laughs> Got him! as I just unlocked an audio segment from the announcers that you've probably never heard before. With that interception, he just set a record that nobody ever wants to set, and that's the most picks ever in an NFL game. Eight. Come eight. On. Come on. Eight. Come on. eight. Eight. The last time we saw seven, 2001, right? Yeah. It's Ty Detmer. He's with the Lions at that time. To get to eight, 
I'll be sure he knows what color jerseys his team's wearing in this one. Mm, I don't know. It has not been good. He gets the ball back, though, as I get a BS fumble on the next play. What? And he also punches it in to get back within a score. He has to get an onside kick, though. How about new? And I decide I want to kick a field goal rather than just run out the clock. Giving him one more chance. Nine picks in a game, that is. Psych! So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, please make sure to be a subscriber. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, I'll have videos about the defense and coaching adjustments that I talked about earlier popping up on screen. So if you guys want to check them out, just click the links as I'm sure it'll help with your game. And that's it. Thanks for watching, man. Money shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.